Some things in life go better online. Finding free shipping for your shoes. Sharing a scene from your favorite movie. Locating the cheapest flight for spring break. Seeing how many people like the new restaurant down the street. But when it comes to reliable writing advice, being online is not always enough. When college writers need help and ask a search box, the results can be overwhelming. A good handbook gives reliable advice, but sometimes students have their own lingo. Dude, that was an epic fail. Really? I destroyed that test. How could we close the gap between search and find? And how could we build a handbook that bridged the language over here with the language over there? I'm Annette Chung, and this is Writer's Help, a research story. Here's a story. We spent two years talking to real students, 1,200 of them across the country and at two- and four-year schools. We did formal usability testing at 12 different schools, online surveys, and in-class discussion. We asked these students the same question. Tell us three problems you have in your writing that you might use a handbook to solve. Then we asked students to use their imagination. Imagine that your handbook had a Google-type search box. For each of the three problems you'd use a handbook to solve, tell us what words you would type in the search box to find solutions. Here's what they said. We put the terms students gave us into a search engine, and we started to build an online handbook with a student-based search. We call it Writer's Help. Students love the fact that Writer's Help lives where they live, online. I like this web page. They like that Writer's Help gives them targeted search results grouped into smaller, smarter categories. I'd rather use online help because really good search engines go to exactly what you want. They like that it closes the gap between search and find. I found the exact thing I was looking for. Be a part of the Writer's Help story. Go to bedfordstmartins.com slash betterhandbooks. Sign up for a demo or a class test and tell us what terms your students use to look for help.